All right, guys, we're in the middle of the Pacific Ocean on the island of Maui, and I have from Vlad, sent from Vlad, an MRE from Belarus. It's 24-hour MRE, but we're gonna get it all out and try a little bit of everything right away. Right on the top here, we've got some napkins. Oh, this is kind of cool. I've never seen a wooden spoon, knife, and fork. That <laughs> is cool. Crazy. You know what I love about these things? To lick them. I, I know you guys want me to use the Google Translate, but you know what? I like to live dangerously and try things and that I don't know what they are for the first time because that's just more fun. Here is, I think that's gonna be some kind of cream. We've got candy. We've got candy bars. A lot of stuff. Oh man, look at that. That looks like some kind of nuts. Another candy bar. Looks like drink. That looks like raspberries. Man, we got a lot of exciting stuff. More uh, cookies type thing. Biscuits, raspberry, it says right on the outside. This is our stove. More chocolate. We've got something looking good there. Some bread, Lucky Mini. You've heard of her. That looks like ham. Some more candies. Here's our matches. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out. I've got the Pearl Harbor Hawaii hat on here. Got that from Mike and Jenny and Isaac here on Maui. And uh, they're big fans of Ace videos. You might have heard of him. Um, but on the back of the hat, check that out. They embroidered me ancient right on the back. So thank you so much, you guys. And then look at this tray. Check that out. You can see yourself in that tray. <laughs> and it even has me ancient on the, the tag on it. Uh, and thank you, you guys. I really appreciate it. That was very sweet and uh, very unexpected. It was very kind. Let's start by opening up the crackers here. Now, that's an interesting looking cracker. It's very lightweight. That's crazy looking. It looks like it was part of a loaf that was cut. Yeah, and it's, I mean, something was dried out. Listen, it's just real, real light. Very, very lightweight. Let's pray before we get started. Lord God in heaven, thank you again so much for this beautiful day on this beautiful island. I ask you to bless this food to our bodies now as we eat. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. We've got to try a little of this first. Okay. <laughs> I'm super curious too. Right away, think Cheerios with a lot of air, maybe a little styrofoam mixed in. <laughs> Rice maybe in there. I think it is rice i think rice yeah it's definitely used for dipping because there's no flavor at all yeah yeah i think some ham would go good to that it looks like spam kind of the consistency of spam yeah i don't need a knife to cut that i can use my wooden fork that's funny why it's wooden i'm not sure well that's about maybe they the, probably a government contract kind of a thing somebody <laughs> knew somebody with a wood manufacturing plant Smells great, smells like Spam. Crackers are like crunchy tofu. It just absorbs whatever flavor you put in with it. That's, that's a really good hemp. Again, like Spam, I would say a little, um, not quite as dense as Spam, but you can see there, there's fat in there, there's chunks of meat in it, it's all blended up, ground up good, but not pulsified like a pate. Check this out here, looks like peanuts right there. We call those Virginia peanuts here in the States. Oh yeah, peanuts. Nice. Smell good, smell just like peanuts. You know me, peanuts, peanut butter. Whoa. What is it? They have some kind of coating spray. Yeah, they definitely have a coating on them yeah. of some sort. Yeah, some kind of salty. It's like a, kind of punches you right away. Mm -hmm. They're good, they're just unexpected. Unexpected, that's the way to say it. All right, let's see what these raspberry biscuits are like. I know they're raspberry biscuits because it says right there, biscuit raspberry. Oh, well, I thought there'd be raspberries on them, but maybe they just, in, they're infused. Look at that, that's cute. There you go. Smells like raspberry. They're like a shortbread cookie. They're not crunchy, like, no. it's like they've been left out in a humid climate. They're good. That's they're good, good. That's a good cookie. I, I think that's. Cool. I mean, that that's is a, cool, and that's, that's actually really delicious. Normally, I don't like fruit cookie, mm -hmm. but that's that's really good. Yeah, it's infused with the fruit. That's that's real tasty. Let's take a look at these. Ah, here we go. Moist towelettes. Smell. There's just a, a hint of what would you say that is, Ace? It's like it menthol you. or something. Yeah. Man. Yeah, some kind of menthol, aloe, something. That's good. That's good stuff. Let's get our stove going. Pretty simple stove, it looks like. We're gonna be. Uh, 
Something like this, this, and this would be my guess. Yeah, I like it. So now we'll get a heat tab out, put it right in the middle. Now we have our strike strip. We will. Very nice. Whoa, look at oh, that. That's match. cool. That is very That's cool. a match right there. Wow, look at it. It's like a little. Whoa, yeah, that torch. whole thing goes. You know what we're going to do? We're going to take our other tray, just because I don't want to. I know I can't burn marble, mm -hmm. but I don't want to stain it. Okay. Before it gets going too well, go like that. What do you say? That sounds good. Those, that is crazy. You know, they must make those for really cold weather so they can start, you know, because that was like right. a mini yeah, torch. Yeah, that was fast, yes. All right, this looks like some kind of meat item here. I'm going to crack it just a little bit, make sure that's what it is. Oh, yeah, that's some kind of meat Ooh. item, I'm thinking. Interesting. I would say it smells like beef. Get that tucked back in there, and there we go. Let's open us up a bum -dya, something like that cookie here. Ooh, now that's got chocolate. I like that. Got wafer. There's a, a Keebler cookie that is like orange in the middle of chocolate. It's not that dense of a cookie. The cookie is very light, very flaky, very flavorful. And the chocolate is a little dark, but it pairs well with that cookie. Make us some drink here a minute. We have our handy dandy Marine Corps canteen from the 1980s era when I was in. This looks to be some kind of raspberry. Ooh, that's a good looking powder. Again, the international MREs just seem to have such a better uh, consistency in their powders. It, it, watch how this dissolves. I'll bet it dissolves super easily. Oh yeah, there's just, there's no paste to it. The American MREs, they tend to have the it's like they don't have it down where they make that powder good. This is a good powder. It dissolved very easily. I mean, look at that. There's nothing left in the bottom of this. It's all dissolved. That's like taking a, a handful of raspberries and just doing like that and mm, drinking the juice. That's good. That's really tasty. All right, well, let's try another one of our dessert bars here. We've got all kinds of grains and, and looks like some raisins in there infused with chocolate on the outside. Oh, I see some uh, like dried fruits, probably pineapple, looks like to me. Rice, ooh, that looks really good. Look, look, at, look, at, the, look at that on top, that is so cool. Mm, chocolate coating on the bottom. That, my friends, is a good candy bar. You wanna try that? Sure. That's really good. I gotta see if we have coffee, because I could use some coffee with that one. Well, there's like chocolate. Oh. And granola and fruit all in mm -hmm. one there. But it's a real light granola. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not a, a heavy one at all. Freeze-dried coffee, we've seen this before. Let's get some of that in a cup. Pour that right in, there we go. Ooh, that looks good. I think the one I enjoy the most is a French coffee. That was so smooth. Mmm, you know what? I want, a li I want it a little stronger. We've been in Hawaii for a while now and I, I've been drinking pretty strong coffee. Oh, that's not coffee, that is sugar. Oh. So, I don't want to put any more. Boy, I wish they had one more coffee with that, because a lot of times they would come with a couple coffees. But that's all right, let's put a little sugar in there. Maybe they don't have cream in uh Oh, no, like... we have cream, my friend. Right oh, there. okay, I, and I knew they had cream, I just didn't know if they yeah. put it in their coffee, I guess. Yeah, yeah. oh no, this is, this is the good stuff right here, look at this. I shouldn't have put sugar in it. I should have just put the cream in oh, it. Oh. Look at that. Sweetened condensed milk. Yes, indeed. Sweetened condensed milk. Make that coffee nice and sweet. This is going to be not a coffee drink so much now as it's going to be a uh, dessert drink, I think. Oh, that's good. You know, that, that's <laughs> quite good. I like that. Yeah, you've never really uh, got wow. in on the sweet coffee things. No. You started out opening MREs. Not too shabby. Oh wow, that is good. You like that? Wow, that's uh, uh, some superior coffee there. I, I, <laughs> I wow. knew I made it sweet enough if you like it, right? I like it. Mm -hmm. All right, well we gotta have some with our uh, that bar here that I have. There we go. Got that. It's just so cool. It's got all these fruits in it, nuts. There, it looks like strawberries there, pineapple there. Wow. That are good. You know, did you get a bite of this? I did. Mm. Pairs well with coffee. Oh, a hot drink kind of melts it all down. Mm. Mm, that is good, good, good. 
All right, let's see how that looks. Ooh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. That's all I'll say at this point. I'm gonna cleanse the old palette. You know, we're gonna just pour that out, see what we've got here. Ooh, that hot pan is hot. Now, you know what? That looks like a, like a corned beef kind of a thing. That looks really good. It smells beefy. Mm-hmm. Man, that looks delicious. Look at all that. There's a lot, a lot in there. Talk about calorie laden. Mm. Wow. Man. Oh, my. You know what? Belarusian MRE is, this portion is amazing. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is what you'll want when you're out in the field. Mm -hmm. That is top drawer again. The, 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 it's actually chunks of beef, definitely good chunks of beef. It has plenty of uh, gravy or sauce. I need a spoon with a bigger dip in it so I can get more sauce in it. Wow, this is really, really good. The beef is salty, but not too salty. The texture is there. Man, that is good. It, it beats the pork. I like the pork because I like pork usually better, but that beef, the way they seasoned it, this is amazing. This is an amazing dish, truly. I would say this is the best beef dish I've had in an MRE. That is superior. Really? Number that, one, huh? That is superior, no, no question about it. Wow, Isn't that, that is really good. Let's open another can here and see what else we have. Okay, now this looks like, uh, like cereal in there, along with some kind of meat. Ooh, that's gonna be good too. All right, let's get another heat tab out. Let that simmer. I'm curious to see what this is. Might be fruit to be my guess. No. <laughs> oh, Warm this meat. is, I think it's pate. It's all mealy. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. See, it's spam, pate, and beef so far. I mean, that smells a little bit like brown schwager. That is good. <laughs> <laughs> I like all the protein in this one. No, I do too, really. That's what you need. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The other thing. Everything's been salty. You know, I'm, I'm always, oh, I want salt, I want salt. This has been salty. Let's set this aside a minute. That's kind of our spam, I'll call it, dish. This is the pate, much like brown schwager. And um, that, despite appearances, it, it's a real mild. Uh, brown schwager has kind of a, a bitter, gamey taste, I would say, to it. This is very mild very smooth tasting and of course it's it's ground up very smoothly that is good i'm telling you meat wise this has been incredible let's jump after another cookie here oh wait this is uh it smells like honey hmm interesting it's like a little cute or perforated cubes there yeah. it's interesting that's a taste i've never had before yeah Grab oh. a square. Um, Look at that perfect for a little square coming in. It's very sweet. You can almost melt it down and put it in coffee. That's interesting though. It's like a bit of honey kind of a thing. Yeah, like honey or butterscotch or something. Mm -hmm. It's almost like eating fudge kind of a thing. Consistency. Vanilla fudge. There you Vanilla, go. That, yeah, that's what it's like. Yep. Okay, so while our side dish is heating up, let's see if this is more meat or this is a fruit. I haven't had a direct fruit yet like canned fruit so let's see if there's what we got. oh and that's more rice and, <laughs> and meat of some kind wow well we'll leave that lid intact as much as possible and heat that up next you know while we're waiting for things to heat up um wanted to finish a story i started to tell when i was in boot camp they picked four squad leaders and a guide. But the guide carried the guide on, it was called. That was the, our, our guide on was a flag that said 3059. We were platoon 3059. We were an H Company 3rd Battalion in Recruit Depot in uh, Paris Island, South Carolina. Anyway, when you first start, they just pick the five tallest guys. Tallest guy is the guide, and the next tallest is fourth squad leader, next tallest is third squad leader, next second, next first. So they just start with the tallest guys. Well, at some point in the training with my platoon, they decided that they had a guy, that he was the house mouse, they called him. And that guy, he did the uh, drill instructor's bidding. Whatever the drill instructors needed done, delivered, talked about, a note sent somewhere to another drill instructor in another company, whatever, 
That's what the house mouse did. And we had a house mouse that was, he was a fire plug of a kid. Barrel chested, big arms, just, and he was just tough. And I think they wanted him to be a squad leader. They felt like he'd be a good squad leader. So they got us one day, all us squad leaders and the guide, and said, boys, get back here. So we all went back to the back room and uh, so get up against the wall. So what they made us do, and I'll show you right here, you may have heard of these, they're called preacher seats. They made us sit like this. I gotta be careful because my sandals don't, but you, they made you sit like this. And you had to just sit like this until you gave out. And it wasn't a bad thing to give out. It's just that if you gave out, you had to get up and sit like this again. We called them preacher seats when I was a kid. So, and, and what happens is when you do this, after a while, your legs start shaking and you're starting, you're just trying to hold on and, and, and then you fall down and then they'd say, get up, get up. And we'd have to get up and start all over. And so this was going on for, it seemed like an eternity. It wasn't that long, I'm sure. But finally, one of the squad leaders broke. He was doing it. And, and you know, for the 10th time, 15th time, whatever, and we're all falling. We, none of us could sit there for an indefinite period of time. But finally, one of the kids, he started crying. And he kind of laid in a heap on the floor. Oh, I don't want to be a squad leader. It's like, You're out. So they got him out and they put this young man who was just a fire plug of a kid in his place. And so for the rest of boot camp, there was the three or four tallest and then this real short guy <laughs> that was there but worked out great he was a great leader i'm sure he went on to be do good things in the marine corps but uh, that was just a kind of a cool incident that happened at boot camp where they decided we want somebody else in in the a leadership position and they and they made the change all right let's take a look at our dish here now got that flame is still going a little bit i moved the meat aside trying to make the best of things here with our limited space that is hot here we go this is like a hash this has a lot of uh, looks like veg or uh, potatoes with it <clears throat> would be my guess it's like oats to me yeah oh you know what that looks that does look like oats okay i'm done Whew. Mm. Whew. all right wow that's Look at a lot all the food they give you in this one they're very this is a good mre yeah, this is, now it's a 24 hour one but this is plenty i mean this is going to really fill you up for all day the, the whole thing is seasoned just right I'll tell you what would be good. Mix it up in that juice. Oh man. Now the only thing I can think of is this might bind a guy up a little bit. Mm. If you combine it with a lot of physical activity, which presumably you're going to be involved in, might not have that problem. But I might want some magnesium tablets with me and some other things to help keep me loosey goosey a little bit so I don't bind up. Yeah, there are no uh fruit there's no fruit or no. vegetables. <laughs> yeah, the fruit you have, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, let's get our rice and meat of some sort on top. I wanted to tell you too, by the way, I opened this the wrong way. There's a little arrow right there. I'm looking oh. up here, but now you go under the arrow and um, pull that back and ta-da. That's you pretty can, luxurious for that, an MRE. That is really something, because then you can reseal them, save them for later. We're going to open up our Kessel here. It's a fruit drink. Vlad said it might be a little bit thicker. Boy, that, that Powder again, that's great. Yep, yep. Get our meat laden spoon. Mm. For some people, that might be kind of weird because I know my wife doesn't like to lick wooden spoons, so that might be something people have to get over. It's a hot drink, we're gonna mix it hot. It doesn't smell real fruity. It's got a good flavor though. It has a little bit of a tangy taste to it, like a citrusy taste, not just straight cherry or something like it might have looked like on the front. But that's good warm. That was good advice, Vlad. Thank you for that. I hear our heated stuff going. All right, we're gonna take that off and put this on this side of the tray here. Yeah, just some more meat with this time what looks like to me rice. That's really dry. Whoa, that's dr really dry again which, like I say, that's gonna take its toll on your intestinal tract, I'm thinking, after a while. It smells delicious. That's got a totally different taste. And it is good. Yeah, it, is. it looks very similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks, the two, not much different, but maybe some different spices, or maybe it's not beef or pork, maybe it's something else. You know, I know in uh, France, they would have restaurants with horse heads above them. You can guess what that meant. You want to try a bite? 
Sure, now that you said that. Oh. I, the thing that would be a little bit uh, maybe frustrating to me is this has so much gravy in it. I want to save some of this gravy for these dishes here, which lack a little bit of that gravy. You know, you'd want to be able to mix it up together, I think, mm -hmm. to give it a little more liquid. But They definitely give you enough calories. Oh, yeah. Enough calories to get you going. Maybe there's some kind of fruit in cans or something available. Let's try some. We'll call this our fruit uh, serving because there are three of them. That tastes like a cherry kind of a something. That's good. Set that on the side. This might be like an apple, I'm guessing. It's green. Again, it's just kind of fruity sweet. A little different from the pink one. It has a little menthol taste in it. That's good too. That's, that's different. Not, it's not as sweet because of that menthol aftertaste in it. This one has a cow in it. <laughs> it has a cow, yeah. That might be like a butterscotch or oh, maple. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that crunches. Check that out. There's going to be it a... soft in... Oh, that's there cool. There you go. That's cool. Oh. Yeah, like caramel on the inside. Mm. Well, Vlad, what a, what a culinary delight here. This is quite a treat. You got your three main meals, your extra meat on the side, good biscuits that just take on whatever flavor you're going with, good candies, good... Everything was good. This was really a fun, really good was. meal. If you get a chance to put your hands on a Belarus MRE, I would highly recommend it. Let's get after the next one.